The newly decorated Acting Inspector General of Police, Abubakar Adamu, has officially begun his duties. The new police head addressed a press briefing on Wednesday where he laid out his plans for the police force and the 2019 elections. The outgone IG Ibrahim Idris also addressed the briefing to thank officers for their cooperation during his time in office. This next report tells us more. It is an unusual gathering of top police officers at the Louis Edet House on Wednesday. Top-ranking officers have come to witness the handing over of Baton to the 20th number one cop in Nigeria. It is the first official engagement of Abubakar Damu as he takes over from Ibrahim Idris. The newly appointed acting inspector general of police first promise is to work on the image of the Nigeria police force. It's my firm conviction therefore that if the quality personnel potentials of the force are blended with purposeful and motivational leadership, at strategic level within the organizational hierarchy of the force, the lost glory of the Nigeria police, which remains a concern to government at all levels, to also citizens and human rights groups, the international community, and indeed, well many officers and men of the force will be restored. With my appointment and assumption of duty, I am determined to draw on my national and international policing leadership experience to bridge this missing link. I assure you on this day that I will provide the highest possible level of professional and responsible leadership for you while trusting that you shall march hand in hand with me as defendable professional colleagues to advance the fortunes of the force. I demand that you henceforth Resolve to abstain from conduct that will drag the police into disrepute and put your career in jeopardy. And join me in the common cause of changing the narratives of policing in the country for good. He has also promised to lead a professional, fair and non-partisan force to the general elections next month and wants politicians to play the game by the rules. I must send a note of warning that as a nation, we have had enough of electoral violence. Hence, while the Nigeria police under my watch shall, shall work with the independent National Electoral Commission and sister security agencies in guaranteeing a peaceful and secure space for all political parties and the citizens to freely exercise their electoral rights, we shall not hesitate to identify, isolate, and bring to deserve justice any person or group that attempt to threaten our sacred democratic order. <laughs> to the unrepentant felons that may want to put our common will to test, the message is being relayed here loud and clear that in securing the law abiding citizens during the elections, we shall not hesitate to deploy our potent assets to deal firmly and decisively with electoral deviance. Consequently, I call on all political actors to assist the police and other law enforcement agencies in sustaining the gains recorded in our democratic journey. They should always remember that politics is a game guided by rules and it behoves them to play the game within the dictates of such rules. On our part, we assure the nation of our determination to play our own role fairly but firmly towards guaranteeing a peaceful electoral process and a credible outcome. Outgoing IGP Ibrahim Idris, in a short but emotional speech, thanked men and officers of the force for their support during his tenure. I've served the Nigerian Police Force for 35 years. I retired, by the grace of God, I retired yesterday. And this is going to be my final departure ceremony from the Police Force. I want to thank all of you, all the officers present here, for the support you've given me. And for all we have done together to make the Nigerian Police Force great. 
We tried our best during my time. And during that period, you've given me your maximum support. I want to thank every police officer from the last rank of constable to the highest rank of the Deputy Inspector General of Police. Let me thank all of you for your commitment, for your dedication to your country. Like I said, I'm here to hand over the baton of leadership to my colleague and friend, who is going to take over as the 20th Inspector General of Police for the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And I wish him all the best. Ibrahim was Nigeria's 19th Inspector General of Police. He retired after 35 years in service. Fidelia Agoncha, TV360, Nigeria.